Hey everyone, Kelly Lintz here, Senior Gold Ambassador with Plexus Worldwide, and today we're going to talk about the difference between sharing Plexus and selling Plexus. There is a difference and you don't want to cross that line. I honestly feel like I don't really have to sell Plexus. Why? because there is such a felt need in our society to feel better. It seems like everyone is overweight, tired, depressed, anxious, you name it. People want to feel better and these products do help. So I've simply been able to share them with people, tell them how to get it, and that's about it. However, sometimes we do tend to go a little overboard. So here are a few things not to do. So, what do you think? Do you wanna do it right now? Hi, yeah, I know, I just checked in with you this morning. I just thought I'd follow up one more time. What's keeping you from joining me right this second? Do you want it? Do you? Do you? Huh? Do you? Huh? Do you? Hi, yes, oh, you're just going into surgery. Oh, okay, well, I mean, like, has the anesthesia kicked in yet? Because I, I think we've got some time. I know that traditional sales tactics say that you need to close the deal, but let's face it, who likes to be sold to? Not me. So, if you are not reading the cues of your particular audience, you could risk sabotaging your entire business relationship in the future. Here's an example. A friend of mine was messaging me questions about Plexus. I answered them to the best of my ability, and then she said, great, I'm gonna think about it. Thanks for the info. I could have tried to close her right there, but what I did instead was I said, yep, no problem, and I went away. That left her free to two days later come back, even though it felt like I had lost her. She came back and says, you know what? I've been thinking about it. I do think this is something I want to do. And because she felt safe with me, I was able to explain to her the benefits of joining rather than just being a customer, and now she's on my team. Here's another example of what not to do. My goodness, I am so sorry you totaled your car and the whiplash. But hey, the pink drink really helps with inflammation. Am I making lemonade out of lemons or what? Listen, you know what? Teen pregnancy is no fun for anyone. But listen, you need to get her on the triplex because Tara Castaneda says it seriously increases milk supply. Well, fancy meeting you here at the grocery store. At the ball field. In yoga. But since we did, let's talk about Plexus. No. If you want people to start running the other way when they see you, start talking about Plexus every single time you're together. They'll run. Julia Brown has a great policy in that when she's out and about uh, and she happens to run into a friend, she never brings up Plexus. She takes the time to focus on their personal relationship. Why? Because they know she's selling Plexus. She posts about it on Facebook all the time. Here's another what not to do. I really, really, really. Oh, I sure wish you would just try it. It's a no, okay. Fine, I don't have to have the brand new planner. Please, I'll be your best friend. Really, really, really. No, it's fine. I, I have a desk calendar. Really? You will love it so much. I was just role playing and I literally want to stab myself. And here is our final thing not to do. Really? Like you don't want to feel better. You just want to feel like crap. Like you're good with needing a nap every day at three. You would rather stay at a job you hate miss all of your child's important events and make way less than me than you would share plexus with a few people okay no 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 no, no. that's fine by all means stay fat depressed and tired who am i to stop you mm. please don't do that and in my opinion 
That includes Facebook posts. Maybe it's just my personality, but I've never been a fan of the posts that basically are saying, why wouldn't you try Plexus? Are you stupid? Hashtag just saying. Uh, you know, I just have the personality, and I think a lot of people do, that if you make me feel stupid for a choice that I have or haven't made, I really don't care what you're offering. I'm probably going to say no. Listen, the thing about this, guys, is when you make it more about needing them to do this for you, that's selling. When you make it about you sharing Plexus with them and letting them come to their own conclusion, that's sharing. And it may feel like sometimes you're losing people, but what you're doing is creating a long-term environment for success where they feel safe enough to come back to you when they're ready and to say, you know what? Maybe this is for me, which of course you knew all along. But if you don't let them find that out for themselves, they may never find it out at all.